if the fentanyl crisis in the Bay Area is not disturbing enough, there is a new drug showing up on San Francisco streets. It's a horse tranquilizer with some very bad side effects. The city is sounding the alarm about it tonight. Here's what we know. The San Francisco Health Department found traces of the drug xylazine in the bodies of four people who recently died of drug overdoses. It's not an opioid and it is commonly mixed with other drugs like fentanyl and heroin. And its side effects are disturbing. It can cause necrotic ulcers that can spread. It can depress your respiratory system. Andrea Nakano talked to a man who was able to pull himself out of a fentanyl addiction about why the rise of this drug is so concerning. Silazine is not even approved for human use. It's a veterinary tranquilizer, most commonly known on the streets as Trank. It causes severe side effects and even deaths. But the problem is most people don't know they're using it. You're a drug addict, right? Tom Wolf's addiction spiraled out of control after getting hooked on oxycodone after a foot surgery. It led to a heroin and fentanyl addiction, and within months, this father and husband ended up calling the streets of San Francisco his home. Basically offered an ultimatum at, at a certain point by her to uh, either go to rehab or leave the home, and I chose to leave the home. Addiction won, uh, won at that moment and I ended up almost on the street. Now he's trying to lift others out of addiction, knowing the next high could lead to death. I don't want to just say, just say no, because that's the from the 80s, right? But right now, all I will say is that the, the street, the illicit drug supply, the drugs you buy on the street are not safe. The reason it's not safe, drugs are being mixed to make them more potent. You wouldn't think you need to add to fentanyl. It's so powerful in itself, but what people are doing, um, down drug users are doing, is they're adding xylazine to fentanyl and cocaine and heroin, but mostly to fentanyl to, to enhance or sustain the high that they can get for, uh, from it. April Rivero is not only the executive director of the National Coalition Against Prescription Drug Abuse, she lost her son to an overdose. What makes street drugs so deadly is users don't know exactly what they're getting. Imagine if you had a loaded uh, a gun that had a chamber to hold 10 bullets and you had put eight bullets in there and you'd spin it. That's what it is when you use fentanyl right now. There's an eight in 10 chance that if you use cocaine or meth or MDMA or something like that, that it's laced with fentanyl and you could die. But now it may not just be fentanyl. There are signs xylazine is seeping into the market. You can just walk out into Kensington Avenue and you can smell the rotting flesh. It's awful. Xylazine has been prominent in the East Coast, especially Pennsylvania, where it's estimated Trank is in 90% of Philadelphia's dope supply. Many don't know it's in the meth or fentanyl that they are using until they start to see their skin decompose. This is kind of like how it's healed. It just heals like a burn. But um, yeah, this was like all open. Melanie Bettis is a recovering addict and didn't know her drugs were laced with xylazine. I came here because this was the easiest, most convenient open air drug market and it was 15 minutes away from where I was raised. According to the San Francisco Department of Public Health, it was the first time the city found traces of xylazine after doing tests on four overdose victims last month. There have been no reports of skin wounds caused by the drug yet in the city, but some are concerned Trank will soon be prevalent in the drug supply on the streets. We don't have time because there's two people dying a day from overdose. So we're really kind of stuck in a quagmire of what to do. Well, it's not just us. A study in June found xylazine in 36 states. In November, the FDA issued a nationwide alert to doctors about it. Well, because Trank is not an opioid, it does not respond to Narcan, which is used to reverse fentanyl overdoses. It does save lives. This week, an FDA panel recommended that Narcan be made available over the counter. A final decision on that will be made in the next few weeks.